Hey guys, this is Zach with the 208 Picker. Coming at you with a, uh, just a quick video about junk. This is a, uh, this is an old Kenmore, Sears Kenmore sewing machine. Not very impressive. You can see here, uh, $4.99 is what I paid for this thing. Just to show you a couple of tricks with sewing machines if you're interested. You get down here and uh, you see that? You see that curly Q piece of metal there? Right here. It's worth about 15 bucks to the person that's looking for that little curly Q piece of metal. A little better shot at that. What that does is tension the thread so you can put it into the needle. This is missing the presser foot, of course. But, uh,. Bring this around here. Focus in on that a little bit. Maybe not. I don't know. But yeah. That tiny little piece of metal can sell for 15 to 20 bucks. Another one here. You see this piece here. This is the uh, upper thread tension assembly. A lot of times this piece, the spring, comes up missing or broken or sprung. It's not good when a spring is sprung. Take the screw off, pull that assembly off. 20 to 35 dollars for the uh, upper thread tension assembly. Now you get in some other pieces here. You can take out the uh, that's the hook keeper and the hook. That's what holds your uh, bobbin in. And that's what catches the uh, thread for your lock stitch. Those pieces there. Look at that. That's, uh, that's machined metal. You go to order this piece from sewingmachinesparts.com you're going to spend 20 to 30 dollars. Here's some other pieces. This is this is why uh, I got this I got this machine. I thought I was doing really good at 4.99. Look what we got here. We got the broken uh, bobbin winder. The pot metal is uh, completely destroyed there. But if you look in here, these old Kenmore machines are all metal. You get the camshaft, you don't see any plastic parts in there. Down there you got the brass ring gear. The newer machines you find at Walmart. That gear is plastic. Turning a metal shaft. How much sense does that make? The new machines are all throwaway machines. The first time you try to punch through something a little too thick, 
you're going to strip one of those gears out. So for $4.99 I got a motor. You can see here. <clears throat> Maybe I can get in on that. Yep, there we go. One amp motor. Now for any of you guys that know about motors and horsepower, one amp motor is a tough motor. That's actually a that's a big motor. If any of you guys have ever had to replace a belt, you see that ribbed belt there? You're going to spend anywhere from five to twenty-five dollars at a sewing machine shop for that belt. As you can see here, my uh, warehouse. I do like the sewing machines. They've treated me very well. Just got this uh, little eight-stitch Kenmore going. Got it serviced, oiled, cleaned, ready to go. Lays down an excellent stitch. Stitch pattern you can see there. See here, it's got the stretch stitch. With your uh, straight stitch, zigzag, blind hem. Excellent top and bottom locking. Good to go. Excellent machines, these old Kenmores. But hey, I just thought I don't put these videos up very often. Thought I'd put one up. Appreciate all the... Uh, everybody's contribution. And I thought I'd start making more of my own here. Alright. Have a good night.